Question 1. What precautions should you take when approaching a road marked with a flooded sign? A. Accelerate to cross the flooded area quickly. B. Find an alternative route or follow detour signs. C. Continue at normal speed if the water seems shallow. Answer. B. Find an alternative route or follow detour signs. When a road is marked as flooded, it's safest to avoid the risk of crossing and find an alternate route. Question 2. How do you proceed upon seeing a bike rub sign? A. Increase speed to pass cyclists quickly. B. Share the road and watch for cyclists. C. Cyclists must yield to vehicles. Answer. B. Share the road and watch for cyclists. A bike route sign indicates that the road is commonly used by cyclists and drivers should be cautious and share the road. Question 3. What does a two-way left turn lane sign indicate? A. Only right turns are allowed. B. The lane is for left turns for traffic from both directions. C. No turning is allowed. Answer. B. The lane is for left turns for traffic from both directions. This lane is a shared space for vehicles making left turns from either direction. Question 4. What is the significance of a slow-moving vehicle emblem on a vehicle ahead of you? A. The vehicle can travel at highway speeds. B. The vehicle is likely to make sudden stops. C. The vehicle travels at slower speeds than normal traffic. Answer. C. The vehicle travels at slower speeds than normal traffic. When you see this emblem, be prepared to adjust your speed accordingly. Question 5. How should you adjust your driving when encountering a divided highway sign? A. Prepare for an upcoming split in the road. B. The road will merge with another highway. C. U-turns are allowed ahead. Answer. A. Prepare for an upcoming split in the road. This sign indicates that the road will soon be divided by a median or physical barrier. Question 6. What action should you take upon seeing a ramp close schedule sign? A. Prepare for a detour or alternative route. B. The ramp closure does not apply to passenger vehicles. C. Ignore the sign if the ramp seems open. Answer. A. Prepare for a detour or alternative route. This sign indicates that the ramp will be closed at certain times, and drivers should plan for an alternate route. Question 7. What is the legal requirement when driving in an area with a posted speed limit sign? A. It's a recommendation. You can choose your speed. B. Drive at the posted speed limit if conditions allow. C. Always drive 5 miles per hour below the posted limit. Answer. B. Drive at the posted speed limit if conditions allow. The speed limit is the maximum legal speed you can travel in that area under ideal conditions. Question 8. How do you navigate a road marked with a no-shoulder sign? A. Be prepared for limited space on the side of the road. B. Stop and check for oncoming traffic. C. Use the shoulder for emergency stops only. Answer. A. Be prepared for limited space on the side of the road. A no-shoulder sign warns of no room for stopping or pulling over on the roadside. Question 9. What precautions should be taken when encountering a crossrod sign? A. Increase speed to cross quickly. B. Be prepared for traffic crossing your path. C. Only stop if you see traffic at the crossroad. Answer. B. Be prepared for traffic crossing your path. A crossroad sign warns of an intersection ahead, so be vigilant for crossing traffic. Question 10. How should you merge when you see a lane ends merge left sign? A. Accelerate and merge right. B. Slow down and stop before merging. C. Merge left carefully, yielding to traffic in the continuing lane. Answer. C. Merge left carefully, yielding to traffic in the continuing lane.
The sign indicates that your lane is ending and you should merge left safely. Question 11, what should you do when driving through an area with a road work next five mile sign? A, maintain your normal speed. B, be prepared for workers and equipment on the road. C, road work signs are only advisory. Answer, B, be prepared for workers and equipment on the road. This sign indicates that you are entering a road work zone and should drive with extra caution. Question 12, how should a driver interpret a left turn yield on green sign at an intersection? A, left turns are prohibited. B, yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians before turning left. C, turn left immediately when the light turns green. Answer, B, yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians before turning left. This sign means you can turn left on a green light, but you must yield to other traffic and pedestrians first. Question 13, what driving adjustments are necessary on a road marked with loose gravel? A, speed up to reduce tire contact with gravel. B, reduce speed and avoid sudden steering movements. C, loose gravel signs are only for motorcyclists. Answer, B, reduce speed and avoid sudden steering movements. Loose gravel can cause reduced traction, so slower speeds and cautious driving are necessary. Question 14, what action should you take when you see a trolley station sign? A, be alert for trolleys crossing or sharing the road. B, trolley stations do not affect vehicle traffic. C, only pedestrians should be cautious. Answer, A, be alert for trolleys crossing or sharing the road. This sign indicates the presence of trolleys and drivers should be cautious. Question 15, how should you behave when driving near a pedestrian crossing? A, speed up to clear the area quickly. B, yield to pedestrians and be prepared to stop. C, pedestrians must yield to vehicles. Answer, B, yield to pedestrians and be prepared to stop. Drivers must always yield to pedestrians at crossings. Question 16, what should you do if you accidentally drive past a wrong way sign? A, continue driving and look for a place to turn around. B, slow down and reverse your direction. C, stop immediately, then safely turn around or exit. Answer, C. Stop immediately, then safely turn around or exit. If you pass a wrong way sign, you are going against traffic and must safely rectify the situation. Question 17. How should a driver respond to a no passing zone sign? A. Pass quickly before the zone starts. B. Do not pass other vehicles in this zone. C. The sign only applies to commercial vehicles. Answer. B. Do not pass other vehicles in this zone. A no passing zone sign indicates it's unsafe to overtake and pass in this area. Question 18. What does a keep right sign indicate on a multi-lane highway? A. Stay in the right lane if you're driving slower than other traffic. B. All traffic must move to the right lane. C. The sign only applies to trucks and buses. Answer. A. Stay in the right lane if you're driving slower than other traffic. The sign is a reminder to slower traffic to keep right, allowing faster traffic to pass on the left. Question 19. How do you navigate a road with a cross-traffic head sign? A. Only stop if you see approaching vehicles. B. Ignore the sign if you have the right of way. C. Be cautious and prepare to yield to crossing traffic. Answer, C, be cautious and prepare to yield to crossing traffic. This sign indicates that vehicles may be crossing your path ahead. Question 20, what should you do when you see a truck rollover reduce speed warning? A, maintain your current speed. B, increase speed to pass trucks quickly. C, slow down and drive cautiously in this area. Answer, C, 
slow down, and drive cautiously in this area. This sign warns of potential rollover risks for trucks, indicating a need for reduced speed. Question 21. What is the appropriate response when you encounter a yield sign? A. Stop completely before proceeding. B. Proceed without slowing down. C. Slow down or stop if necessary to yield right of way. Answer. C. Slow down or stop if necessary to yield right of way. A yield sign requires drivers to give way to other road users. Question 22. How should a driver react to a flashing red traffic signal? A. Proceed with caution. B. Treat it as a stop sign. C. Accelerate to clear the intersection quickly. Answer. B. Treat it as a stop sign. A flashing red signal means stop and proceed when safe. Question 23. What actions are required when approaching a school zone with children present? A. Drive at the normal speed limit. B. Speed up to clear the area faster. C. Reduce speed and watch for children. Answer. C. Reduce speed and watch for children. Drivers should always be extra cautious in school zones. Question 24. How should you respond if your vehicle begins to hydroplane on a wet road surface? A. Apply the brakes firmly to regain traction. B. Steer in the direction of the skid. C. Ease off the gas and steer straight or in the direction you want to go. Answer. C. Ease off the gas and steer straight or in the direction you want to go. This helps regain control during hydroplaning. Question 25. What is the correct procedure for making a right turn at an intersection where the traffic light is red? A. Turn without stopping. B. Stop and proceed if there is no sign prohibiting a right turn on red. C. Right turns on red are not allowed. Answer. B. Stop and proceed if there is no sign prohibiting a right turn on red. After stopping, you can turn right on red unless a sign says otherwise. Question 26. In what situation is it legal to pass a vehicle on the left? A. When the vehicle ahead is moving below the speed limit. B. When approaching a curve on a two-lane road. C. On a two-lane road when the way is clear of oncoming traffic. Answer. C. On a two-lane road when the way is clear of oncoming traffic, it's legal to pass on the left when it's safe and clear. Question 27. How do you proceed when a school bus is stopped with its red lights flashing and stop arm extended? A. Pass carefully on the left. B. Stop regardless of your direction of travel. C. Stop if you are on the same side of the road as the bus. Answer. B. Stop regardless of your direction of travel. You must stop for a stop school bus with flashing lights and an extended stop arm. Question 28. What is the significance of a solid white line on the highway? A. Indicates a bike lane. B. Marks the edge of the roadway or separates lanes of traffic going in the same direction. C. Used for carpool lanes only. Answer. B. Marks the edge of the roadway or separates lanes of traffic going in the same direction. Solid white lines are used to denote the edges of a road and lane separations where lane changes are discouraged. Question 29. How should you adjust your driving in response to a sharp curve ahead sign? A. Increase your speed before the curve. B. Continue at the same speed. C. Reduce speed before entering the curve. Answer. C. Reduce speed before entering the curve. A sharp curve requires slower speeds for safe navigation. Question 30. What precautions must be taken when driving through an area marked as a blind intersection? A. Speed up to pass the intersection quickly. B. Stop and proceed when clear. C. Slow down, look both ways, and proceed with caution. Answer. C. Slow down, look both ways, and proceed with caution. 
In areas with limited visibility, extra caution is necessary. Question 31. How should you handle a situation where a pedestrian is jaywalking? A. Accelerate to pass before they cross. B. Honk to warn them. C. Slow down or stop if necessary to ensure pedestrian safety. Answer. C. Slow down or stop if necessary to ensure pedestrian safety. Always prioritize pedestrian safety, even if they are jaywalking. Question 32. What is the procedure for parallel parking on a level street? A. Park at a 45 degree angle. B. Park parallel to the curb within 18 inches. C. Park with your vehicle facing against the direction of traffic. Answer. B. Park parallel to the curb within 18 inches. Proper parallel parking involves aligning your car parallel and close to the curb. Question 33. How should a driver use the center lane on a three-lane road? A. For passing slower vehicles. B. For high-speed travel. C. For making left turns or preparing for a turn. Answer. C. For making left turns or preparing for a turn. The center lane on a three-lane road is often used for turning purposes. Question 34. What does a solid yellow line on your side of the road indicate? A. Passing is allowed. B. Passing is prohibited. C. Indicates a bike lane. Answer. B. Passing is prohibited. A solid yellow line means no passing on that side of the road. Question 35. How do you safely navigate a roundabout or traffic circle? A. Enter without yielding to traffic. B. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout, then proceed to the right. C. Stop inside the roundabout to allow other vehicles to enter. Answer. B. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout, then proceed to the right. Always yield to traffic in the roundabout before entering. Question 36. What steps should you take if your vehicle's engine overheats? A. Continue driving to cool the engine. B. Pull over safely and turn off the engine. C. Add cold water to the radiator immediately. Answer. B. Pull over safely and turn off the engine. If your engine overheats, it's important to stop driving and let the engine cool down. Question 37. In what circumstances is it permissible to drive over the speed limit? A. When overtaking another vehicle. B. Never, you must always obey the speed limit. C. If traffic flow is faster than the speed limit. Answer. B. Never, you must always obey the speed limit. Speed limits are set for safety and must always be followed. Question 38. What should you do when approaching an area with a deer crossing warning sign? A. Ignore the sign if no deer are visible. B. Speed up to minimize time in the area. C. Slow down and be alert for potential deer on the road. Answer. C. Slow down and be alert for potential deer on the road. These signs indicate areas where deer are commonly found. Question 39. How do you properly yield to emergency vehicles when driving? A. Follow closely behind the emergency vehicle. B. Pull over to the right and stop. C. Continue driving at the same speed. Answer. B. Pull over to the right and stop. When an emergency vehicle is approaching, move to the right and stop to allow it to pass. Question 40. What is the legal requirement when encountering a stop sign at an intersection? A. Slow down and proceed if clear. B. Come to a complete stop, then proceed when it's safe. C. Only stop if other vehicles are present. Answer. B. Come to a complete stop, then proceed when it's safe. At a stop sign, a full stop is required before proceeding. Question 41. What action should you take if you see a falling rocks warning sign? A. Speed up to clear the area quickly. B. Maintain a consistent speed and be vigilant for falling debris. 
C. Pull over and wait for the hazard to pass. Answer. B. Maintain a consistent speed and be vigilant for falling debris. Stay alert for potential hazards and keep a safe speed in such areas. Question 42. How should you proceed when driving in a lane marked with a right lane must turn right sign? A. Continue straight if the road is clear. B. Prepare to make a right turn. C. Merge into the left lane. Answer. B. Prepare to make a right turn. This sign indicates that you must follow the direction of the lane, which is turning right. Question 43. What does the end school zone sign indicate to drivers? A. Increase speed immediately. B. You are leaving a reduced speed school zone. C. School zone restrictions are still in effect. Answer. B. You are leaving a reduced speed school zone. This sign marks the end of the area with special school-related regulations. Question 44. What are the rules for using a carpool lane in California? A. Any vehicle can use the carpool lane. B. Only vehicles with two or more passengers can use it. C. Motorcycles are not allowed in the carpool lane. Answer. B. Only vehicles with two or more passengers can use it. Carpool lanes are intended to encourage ride-sharing for efficiency and reduce traffic. Question 45. How should you respond when approaching an intersection and the traffic light changes to yellow? A. Speed up to cross before the light changes. B. Stop if it is safe to do so. C. Ignore the yellow light and proceed. Answer. B. Stop if it is safe to do so. A yellow light signals that the light is about to change to red, so you should stop unless you are too close to the intersection to do so safely. Question 46. What precautions must be taken when driving through an area with active wildlife, as indicated by a sign? A. Increase speed to scare away animals. B. Be alert and drive at a safe speed. C. Wildlife signs are for informational purposes only. Answer. B. Be alert and drive at a safe speed. In areas with active wildlife, drivers need to be vigilant to avoid collisions with animals. Question 47. How should you adjust your driving when encountering a winding road sign? A. Maintain your current speed. B. Increase speed for better stability. C. Reduce speed and navigate turns carefully. Answer. C. Reduce speed and navigate turns carefully. Winding roads require careful handling and reduced speeds. Question 48. What does it mean if you see a road narrow sign while driving? A. The road ahead widens. B. The road ahead will have more lanes. C. The road ahead becomes narrower. Answer. C. The road ahead becomes narrower. This sign warns drivers to be prepared for reduced road width. Question 49. How should you handle a situation where an ambulance is approaching with flashing lights and sirens? A. Continue at your current speed. B. Pull over to the right and stop. C. Follow closely behind the ambulance. Answer. B. Pull over to the right and stop. When an emergency vehicle is approaching, make way by pulling over and stopping. Question 50. What is the correct response when encountering a school bus stop head sign? A. Speed up to pass the bus quickly. B. Be prepared to stop for a school bus. C. The sign only applies during school hours. Answer. B. Be prepared to stop for a school bus. This sign warns of an upcoming area where school buses may be stopping to pick up or drop off children. Question 51. When is it appropriate to use your vehicle's horn? A. To signal to friends. B. To express frustration or anger. C. To warn others of a potential hazard. Answer. C. To warn others of a potential hazard.
The horn should be used only to alert others to prevent accidents or hazards. Question 52. How should you react to a bumpy road sign? A. Continue at the same speed. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. The sign has no significant meaning. Answer. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. A bumpy road sign indicates an uneven road surface ahead. Question 53. What actions are required when driving in foggy conditions? A. Use high beam headlights. B. Use low beam headlights and reduce speed. C. Turn off all lights to reduce glare. Answer. B. Use low beam headlights and reduce speed. In fog, visibility is reduced, so it's important to use low beams and drive more cautiously. Question 54. What does a no engine brake sign mean, especially for truck drivers? A. Engine braking is required. B. Engine braking is prohibited to reduce noise. C. Indicates an area where engine failure is likely. Answer. B. Engine braking is prohibited to reduce noise. This sign is often placed in residential areas where the noise of engine braking can be disruptive. Question 55. How should you navigate a multi-lane roundabout? A. Choose the appropriate lane before entering and yield to traffic in the roundabout. B. Enter in any lane and switch lanes in the roundabout. C. Always use the outermost lane regardless of your exit. Answer. A. Choose the appropriate lane before entering and yield to traffic in the roundabout. Proper lane choice and yielding are key in roundabouts. Question 56. What steps should you follow if your brakes fail while driving? A. Continue driving until the car stops. B. Pump the brake pedal, use the emergency brake, and shift to a lower gear. C. Immediately turn off the engine. Answer. B. Pump the brake pedal, use the emergency brake, and shift to a lower gear. These actions can help bring your vehicle to a stop if the brakes fail. Question 57. What should you do if you are being followed by a tailgater? A. Brake sharply to discourage them. B. Slow down and allow them to pass. C. Speed up to create distance. Answer. B. Slow down and allow them to pass. If someone is following too closely, it's safer to let them pass. Question 58. How should a driver handle a school crossing sign? A. Speed up to clear the area quickly. B. Watch for children and be prepared to stop. C. Children must wait for vehicles to pass. Answer. B. Watch for children and be prepared to stop. Extra caution is needed near school crossings. Question 59. What does a flashing yellow traffic signal indicate at an intersection? A. Stop before proceeding. B. Proceed with caution. C. The intersection is closed. Answer. B. Proceed with caution. A flashing yellow light means slow down and proceed with caution. Question 60. What should you do upon seeing a hidden driveway sign? A. Ignore the sign and continue at your current speed. B. Be alert for vehicles entering or exiting the driveway. C. Honk to warn vehicles in the hidden driveway. Answer. B. Be alert for vehicles entering or exiting the driveway. Hidden driveways may have limited visibility, so extra caution is necessary. Question 61. What should you do if you come across a bump sign on the road? A. Ignore the sign and maintain speed. B. Slow down and proceed with caution over the bump. C. Stop before the bump to check road conditions. Answer. B. Slow down and proceed with caution over the bump. A BUMP sign indicates an uneven road surface ahead, requiring reduced speed for safety. Question 62. How do you proceed when driving through an intersection with a four-way stop sign? A. 
the first vehicle to stop should move first. B. Vehicles to the right have the right of way. C. All vehicles must stop and then proceed without order. Answer. A. The first vehicle to stop should move first. At a four-way stop, the first vehicle to stop at the intersection has the right to move through the intersection first. Question 63. What actions should be taken when encountering a tunnel head sign? A. Turn on your headlights and reduce speed. B. Accelerate to get through the tunnel quickly. C. Stop before entering the tunnel. Answer. A. Turn on your headlights and reduce speed. Tunnels require well-lit vehicles for visibility and a careful approach for safety. Question 64. How should a driver behave in a construction zone marked with a roadwork ahead sign? A. Increase speed to minimize traffic delays. B. Ignore the sign unless workers are visible. C. Slow down, obey posted signs, and be alert for workers. Answer. C. Slow down, obey posted signs, and be alert for workers. Drivers should exercise extra caution in construction zones for the safety of workers and other road users. Question 65. What does a no right turn sign mean at an intersection? A. Right turns are permitted outside of peak hours. B. Right turns are prohibited. C. Only right turns are allowed. Answer. B. Right turns are prohibited. This sign indicates that you cannot make a right turn at the intersection. Question 66. How should you adjust your driving in response to a slippery when wet sign? A. Maintain your normal driving speed. B. Slow down and avoid sudden turns or stops. C. Use high beam headlights to improve visibility. Answer. B. Slow down and avoid sudden turns or stops. A slippery when wet sign indicates that the road may be more slippery than usual, especially when wet. Question 67. What is the appropriate action when encountering a truck crossing sign? A. Speed up to avoid trucks. B. Be alert for trucks entering or crossing the road. C. Trucks have the right of way. Answer. B. Be alert for trucks entering or crossing the road. This sign indicates that trucks may be entering the roadway, requiring extra caution. Question 68. What precautions should be taken when driving near a children at play sign? A. Drive as you normally would. B. Be extra cautious and watch for children. C. Children at play signs are only advisory. Answer. B. Be extra cautious and watch for children. This sign indicates an area where children are likely to be present, and drivers should be particularly alert. Question 69. How do you properly yield to pedestrians at a crosswalk without traffic signals? A. Pedestrians should yield to vehicles. B. Stop and let pedestrians cross. C. Honk to alert pedestrians. Answer. B. Stop and let pedestrians cross. Drivers are required to yield to pedestrians at crosswalks, especially where there are no traffic signals. Question 70. What should you do when approaching a drawbridge ahead sign? A. Speed up to cross the bridge quickly. B. Be prepared for the bridge to be open and stop if necessary. C. The sign is for informational purposes only. Answer. B. Be prepared for the bridge to be open and stop if necessary. A drawbridge ahead sign indicates that you may need to stop if the bridge is open. Question 71. What is the significance of a no U-turn sign? A. U-turns are allowed. B. U-turns are prohibited. C. Only trucks are prohibited from making U-turns. Answer. B. U-turns are prohibited. This sign clearly indicates that making a U-turn is not allowed. Question 72. How do you react to a highway entrance ramp sign? A. 
Prepare to enter the highway and yield to highway traffic. B. Stop before merging onto the highway. C. Merge onto the highway without yielding. Answer. A. Prepare to enter the highway and yield to highway traffic. This sign indicates an approaching ramp to a highway, where merging traffic must yield to existing highway traffic. Question 73. What should you do upon encountering a do not block intersection sign? A. Stop in the intersection if traffic is backed up. B. Keep the intersection clear, even if your light is green. C. The sign only applies during peak hours. Answer. B. Keep the intersection clear, even if your light is green. It's important not to block intersections to allow cross traffic to flow. Question 74. How should you navigate a one-way street? A. Drive in any direction you choose. B. Thrive only in the direction indicated by the sign. C. The sign is advisory and not mandatory. Answer. B. Drive only in the direction indicated by the sign. A one-way sign means that traffic on that street moves only in the direction of the arrow. Question 75. What does a left or right turn only lane sign indicate? A. The lane is for straight through traffic. B. The lane is reserved for turning in the direction indicated only. C. All lanes must turn. Answer. B. The lane is reserved for turning in the direction indicated only. This sign means you must make the turn as indicated and cannot continue straight. Question 76. How do you proceed when you see a stop ahead sign on the road? A. Ignore the sign and continue at the same speed. B. Prepare to make a complete stop at the upcoming stop sign. C. Only stop if there is visible traffic. Answer. B. Prepare to make a complete stop at the upcoming stop sign. This sign warns you of an upcoming stop sign. Question 77. What precautions must be taken in an area marked with a watch for ice on bridge sign? A. Increase speed to reduce time on the bridge. B. Be cautious as bridges may ice over before roads. C. This sign is only for large vehicles. Answer. B. Be cautious as bridges may ice over before roads. Bridges can freeze before roads due to air circulating above and below the road surface. Question 78. What actions should you take when driving in an area with a wildlife crossing sign? A. Drive at the same speed, as animals are rare. B. Be vigilant and ready to stop for crossing animals. C. Wildlife signs are meant for rural areas only. Answer. B. Be vigilant and ready to stop for crossing animals. In areas marked for wildlife crossing, animals may unexpectedly enter the roadway. Question 79. How do you respond to an overhead lane control sign with different lane symbols? A. Choose any lane regardless of the symbol. B. Follow the directions indicated by the symbols for your lane. C. The symbols are for trucks and buses only. Answer. B. Follow the directions indicated by the symbols for your lane. Lane control signs provide important information about lane usage. Question 80. What should you do if you come across a dead-end sign while driving? A. Continue driving as the sign might be incorrect. B. Turn around or take a different route as the road does not continue. C. Speed up to find a way out. Answer. B. Turn around or take a different route as the road does not continue. A dead-end sign indicates that the road does not lead anywhere further. Question 81. What should you do when approaching a railroad crossing with a train approaching warning sign? A. Accelerate to cross the tracks quickly. B. Stop, look, and listen for a train before proceeding. C. Continue at the same speed. Answer. B. Stop, look, and listen for a train before proceeding. 
Always exercise caution at railroad crossings, especially when warned of an approaching train. Question 82. How do you handle a situation where there's a bridge ices before a road warning sign? A. Ignore the sign if it's not cold outside. B. Proceed at normal speed as bridges rarely ice. C. Slow down and be prepared for potentially icy conditions. Answer. C. Slow down and be prepared for potentially icy conditions. Bridges can ice over faster than roads, so take extra care. Question 83. What is the proper response when encountering a fire station sign? A. Proceed without changing driving behavior. B. Be alert for sudden movements of fire vehicles. C. Stop and yield to all vehicles leaving the station. Answer. B. Be alert for sudden movements of fire vehicles. When near a fire station, watch for emergency vehicles entering or exiting. Question 84. What actions are required when driving in a lane marked with a left lane must turn left sign? A. Continue straight in the lane. B. Prepare to make a left turn. C. Use the lane for passing only. Answer. B. Prepare to make a left turn. This sign indicates that you are in a lane designated solely for left turns. Question 85. How should you proceed upon seeing a road closed sign? A. Find an alternate route. B. Drive through the area quickly. C. Wait for the road to open. Answer. A. Find an alternate route. When a road is closed, it is not safe or legal to proceed through the area. Question 86. What does a no turn on red sign at a traffic signal mean? A. You can turn right on red after stopping. B. Right turns on red are prohibited. C. Left turns on red are allowed. Answer. B. Right turns on red are prohibited. This sign means you cannot make a right turn while the light is red. Question 87. How do you respond to a hospital sign while driving? A. Increase speed to clear the area. B. Be alert for pedestrians and emergency vehicles. C. Hospitals have no impact on driving. Answer. B. Be alert for pedestrians and emergency vehicles. Near hospitals, expect increased pedestrian activity and emergency vehicles. Question 88. What action should you take upon encountering a yield ahead sign? A. Speed up to merge with traffic. B. Be prepared to yield to oncoming or cross traffic ahead. C. Stop immediately. Answer. B. Be prepared to yield to oncoming or cross traffic ahead. A yield ahead sign indicates a yield sign is approaching. Question 89. How should you navigate a traffic signal ahead warning sign? A. Maintain your current speed. B. Be prepared for an upcoming traffic light. C. Ignore the sign if the light is green. Answer. B. Be prepared for an upcoming traffic light. This sign indicates that you should be ready to respond to a traffic signal. Question 90. What precautions should be taken when driving in an area marked with a low clearance sign? A. Ensure your vehicle fits under the clearance limit. B. Speed up to pass under quickly. C. The sign only applies to commercial vehicles. Answer. A. Ensure your vehicle fits under the clearance limit. A low clearance sign warns of height restrictions ahead. Question 91. What should you do if you see a dip sign on the road? A. Speed up to cross the dip quickly. B. Continue at the same speed. C. Slow down and prepare for a possible sudden dip in the road. Answer. C. Slow down and prepare for a possible sudden dip in the road. Dips can be hazardous if taken at high speeds. Question 92. How do you proceed when approaching a stop sign ahead warning sign? A. Ignore the sign if you don't see the stop sign. B. Prepare to come to a complete stop at the upcoming stop sign. C. Stop immediately at the warning sign. 
Answer. Be prepared to come to a complete stop at the upcoming stop sign. The warning sign gives you advance notice of the stop sign. Question 93. What actions should you take if you encounter a flooding ahead warning sign? A. Continue at normal speed. B. Find an alternative route. C. Stop and wait for the flood to recede. Answer. B. Find an alternative route. Flooding can be dangerous, and it's best to avoid driving through flooded areas. Question 94. How should you react to a no left turn sign at an intersection? A. Make a left turn quickly. B. Proceed straight or turn right as left turns are prohibited. C. Wait for the sign to change. Answer. B. Proceed straight or turn right as left turns are prohibited. This sign clearly restricts left turns. Question 95. What should you do when you see a school zone ahead sign? A. Maintain your current speed. B. Slow down and be alert for children and crossing guards. C. School zone rules only apply during school hours. Answer. B. Slow down and be alert for children and crossing guards. School zones require reduced speed and increased vigilance. Question 96. How should you adjust your driving when encountering a sharp turn head sign? A. Continue at the same speed. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. The sign only applies to large vehicles. Answer. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. Sharp turns require careful navigation at reduced speeds. Question 97. What does a no parking sign indicate? A. Limited parking is available. B. Parking is prohibited in the indicated area. C. Parking is allowed for short durations. Answer. B. Parking is prohibited in the indicated area. A no parking sign means you cannot park your vehicle there. Question 98. How do you respond to a pedestrian crosswalk warning sign? A. Accelerate to clear the crosswalk quickly. B. Be alert for pedestrians and prepare to stop. C. Pedestrians are required to yield to vehicles. Answer. B. Be alert for pedestrians and prepare to stop. Always give way to pedestrians at crosswalks. Question 99. What action should you take when encountering a reduced speed ahead sign? A. Ignore the sign and maintain your speed. B. Gradually reduce your speed in anticipation of a lower speed limit or hazard ahead. C. Increase your speed before the speed reduction. Answer. B. Gradually reduce your speed in anticipation of a lower speed limit or hazard ahead. This sign warns of a need to slow down ahead.